That 4.4 magnitude earthquake centered in Decatur shook parts of Tennessee last week and brought several aftershocks with it. However, the Tennessee Valley Authority says they are ready for anything. News Channel 9's Mariah Rock shows us how they are always preparing for whatever Mother Nature has in store. Mariah. Josh and Latricia, the first signs of the earthquake happened early in the morning around 4 a.m., but TVA tells me that that didn't stop them from jumping into action. Every time you drive across the Chickamauga Dam, you're crossing over millions of gallons of water. All of that water you see from the top of the bridge, TVA says they have to constantly monitor from underneath. This is part of our routine dam safety program. By using devices like these to measure the amount of pressure the dam is giving off. We will determine based on, we put these numbers into equations and we figure out what forces are acting on the base of the dam. And its elevation. We look for spikes or dips um, to see if there's any changing conditions in the uh, embankment. In their generator room, Kristen Smith says that's why when the earthquake hit at 4 a.m. last week, they were the first ones up. So if you can imagine last week, you show up for work and you're handed here, I need you to go here, I need you to go here. She says they checked several locations and found no issues, but situations like that make their daily work underground even more essential. In addition to responding to an event, whether it's a flood or an earthquake, not only are we reactive, but we're proactive. Smith says whether it's at their nuclear plant or the dam, their job is to be ready for anything. We do everything we can to ensure we are prepared for what comes. If you at home would like to know the amount of water that's flowing in this Tennessee River, there is an app called TVA and it's in the app store. You can download that really simple. Reporting live in Chattanooga, I'm Mariah Rock with News Channel 9. Thank you, Mariah. TVA is not open for tours for safety reasons, but say they are considering starting some tours next year. Almost